Female students at a Nash County high school say they're being harassed online through anonymous social media accounts. And the girls think school officials are blaming them because of how they dress. The parents reached out to WREL upset after the school held a girls only assembly to address the issue. WRL's Keenan Willard has the audio from the meeting that you will only hear on WRL. The Nash Central principal says the school was trying to be positive and encouraging during yesterday's assembly here, but some parents feel this was victim shaming and they're now taking their concerns to the state. Let me tell you something. If you don't have proof of who's writing it, don't come to us. Because we don't have proof. That's a Nash Central educator in an assembly yesterday telling the school's female students not to report anonymous online sexual harassment. It comes after social media accounts have been posting offensive messages about girls at the school for weeks. On that account, there was a survey through Google Forms posted, and the topic of the survey was um, overtly sexual in nature, spoke real heavily about uh, um, raping uh, freshman students, freshman girl students. Robert Whistler's daughter goes to Nash Central. He got a call from her yesterday saying all the girls in school were pulled out of class for an assembly and told that the way they were dressing was causing the harassment. No skin on your stomach should be showing. Save the showing of your bodies for later because you'll be the same one that comes to myself or Miss Adnichi talking about. Look what they put on the central page. Whistler says he feels the school is re-victimizing female students instead of holding male students accountable. He's making a formal complaint to the State Board of Education. I'm livid. Um, you know, when I send my, my daughter out of the house to the school, I expect that the school is going to do their utmost to not just protect her physically, but protect her emotionally. We reached out to Nash County Public Schools, which says the district was not aware of the assembly. They sent us this letter from Nash Central Principal Victor Ward that went out to families today. Ward says Nash Central High School broke up the assembly by gender because of the inappropriate messages. Our next steps include holding the boys assembly later this week and continuing to offer support for our students negatively impacted by these social media posts. Whistler says for his daughter, the assembly had the opposite effect. When she is subjected to um, harassment or assault that she feels comfortable going to an, a teacher or an administrator, a resource officer, somebody to, to get help. Um, I feel like some of that has been taken away um, by this assembly. Keenan Willard, WRL News, Nash County. Now, in response to this story, the school district just sent a statement to us a few moments ago. This comes after we shared the audio from the assembly. In it, the principal apologizes to parents for what happened. The statement reads in part, quote, although the intent was to empower and uplift our students, I understand if the tone and choice of some of the words made your child feel unheard or if we were placing some sort of blame on your student. Those new license plate readers have been on the job in Garner for six months now. Tonight, we'll show